All right, in this Agent Avenue video, we're gonna talk about how to get free uh, images that you can use on your real estate website. Now, your real estate blog is technically a commercial site, so you have to make sure you have permission um, to use those images, and that's what we're gonna talk about. So we're gonna go up here to Google. If we just type in housing, because we're creating a blog post about housing. I'll close some of these, let's see. That was Evernote, so that was an additional thing. Uh, so here's a list on housing. If I go over to images like most people do, they go over here and they see, I can add this, this, and this. Um, just because it's here on Google does not mean whatsoever that you can use any of these images um, at all. So what we wanna do is go over to the gear over here on the top right, and we're gonna go ahead and go to advanced search. So here's my term housing. Then we can search for exact words or phrases, any of these words, none of these words. But I'm gonna skip down here to the bottom where it says usage rights. So right now it's just unfiltered. But we wanna filter for free to use or share, even commercially. And then what I like to search on is free to use, share, or modify, even commercially. So I go ahead and click this. If you want more information on this usage rights, there's a link here. So I'll open this in a new tab to show you. Um, and you'll see that we did um, this one here, labeled for commercial reuse uh, with modification. So your results will only include images labeled with a license that allows you to copy the image for commercial purposes and modify it, et cetera, et cetera. So um, this is usually what I use. Um, you can use this one as well. Um, same thing, just you can't modify it. Um, so that kind of gives you the explanation, then you can read further and further into this if you wish. So I come back here and I'll click Advanced Search. Now, all of these under Housing and Images on Google, all of these are labeled for reuse commercially uh, for free, which is incredible because there's actually a huge set of pictures. Now you can see that the quality definitely changed, uh, get what you pay for kind of a thing, um, but there's quite a few images that you can search through in Google and use them uh, commercially. So I click this and you can go view original image and you can use that. Uh, another site that I like to search on is Flickr. So Flickr allows the same kind of thing. Come down here or at the top, I'll type housing. Give it a moment to search. Again, all of these images we can't technically use until we do an advanced search. So go to advanced and at Flickr, it's at the very bottom, and I like to check all three. So search within Creative Commons licensed contact, content. That means that the user has tagged these photos for uh, to use commercially. And again, I like the content that we can modify, adapt, or build upon. So I'll go ahead and hit search. And then on Flickr, you gotta remember, a lot of this is user tagged. So if you do housing or real estate or anything like that in your search, Sometimes you'll get some really random um, items. There'll be birds or people that have really nothing to do with housing itself. Um, so there's a street sign, here's a kind of a house. Um, so you can see here, we'll click on this one right here. So here's one that you can use uh, commercially and there's quite a few others. There's actually 681,000 photos. So never again can you say that you can't find a photo um, to use in your blog. All right, here's another nice one. Yeah, that's not bad. That's definitely not in our, our area, but it'll work for somebody. Anyway, if you have any further questions on this subject or any other things that you'd like to see in a tutorial, please let us know. Thanks.